Hello, and welcome to the Torture House. An extreme survival show showing fetish hardcore, real deaths, ultra violence, violent entertainment, no censorship or cuts, brutal murders on camera. It is now time to start this survival show. Play in the dark? Well, that's not gonna happen. Locked doors and window. <laughs> Survive even if death seems the easiest way. Hmm. A lot of those jokes, by the way. It's like, wait minutes. <laughs> Makes you fearful a bit. But it's why they want you to have a dark. It's September 1994. Victoria Atkins, a young aspiring model, was traveling through Coke County, Texas, in search of job opportunities when she suddenly disappeared. While, while it was initially believed she had simply became, become lost on the road, days passed without any sign of her. But what no one could imagine were the horrors of the ultra-violence she would experience in a place that could easily be described as hell. The torture house. Yeah, say that was perfectly done. <sighs> I'm always fussing women there. But anyways, <clears throat> I'm exhausted after this trip. I just want to go to my room and put my things away. My key has a number 107. You're not gonna say that uh, your room is 107 or. No, she just got the key, never mind. Why do you like this? This is warning. <sighs> I can barely read it. Well, actually, not barely. It's impossible to read it. You can read a warning, but that's because it's huge. Interact. I got 107 it's this way. Wait, yes. Don't doubt it again. It's my room, 107. It's locked. The key is in my pocket. Yes, the key is in my pocket. I wonder what I'll do now. Not, uh... Oh, well, I guess I have to figure this out. Okay. Show me what I need. How do I bring it out? It's not tab. Definitely not. Oh, controls. Interact, shift. Inventory is I. I'm finally here. Where's the bedroom? I can't carry this backpack anymore. Caution. Maintenance in progress. This room is isolated for maintenance. For your safety, please do not enter. Can I leave this? Let me leave, please! No, I'm stuck! <laughs> what is this? Okay. Okay, got out of it. I had to press escape. I should put my things away in the bedroom before checking the rooms. Okay, well, here's the thing. If you want to put your things in the bedroom before checking the rooms, how are you going to do that if you don't know where the bedroom is? Like, for all you know, that's the bedroom right there. Like, what? <laughs> oh, look, this is totally not the bedroom. Oh. Oh no. I don't have 
have anyone to call right now. Why am I here? Let me drop my stuff. I can't drop it. Also, why is my half health? Half health? <laughs> why is my health half? I can't believe this. <gasps> oh, I can do it. Wait, disappeared again. No. Oh, I put it next. I thought I put it on the bed. That's it. Now I can finally read that letter. What letter? I collected something I already had. Okay. Dear Victoria, I hope this letter finds you well. How are things going? It's been a while since I heard from you, so I decided to send another letter. You're always in a different place all the time, so it's hard to know your exact address. In your last letter, you mentioned receiving a proposal from a magazine. I hope things are going well. Just don't get discouraged. I know things aren't easy for you, girl. And how hard it is to find an opportunity for this type of work that isn't, you know, men's magazines. Your friends always ask about you. You should write on them, too. Uh, two of them, too. Sorry, I thought I saw an on. I always hear of them telling others how you took your car and set off on your adventure to chase your dream of being a model like in Hollywood movies. Oh, I guess now I know why you don't write to them. I know you don't want to disappoint them. Mom and Dad are fine. Mom misses you. Dad doesn't talk much about you. You know how he disapproved of your idea. But he loves you. And I love you too. Future Miss America. With love from your sister. Oh, the sister. <laughs> I thought it was the mother. Lauren. I guess I should have known when the mother doesn't call himself. I miss. I miss you all. I've been on the road for like four hours. I have to take a shower. Yes, after um, that happened. Wow, if only I knew where the shower is. Uh, could be over here. Could, could be anywhere, really. It's off. Looks like the buttons have been ripped off. I need remote control to turn it on. Oh, really? Who would do that? It's almost empty. I'll be staying here longer than I expected, so I need to buy some things to eat. I'll think about it later. I still have some snacks in my backpack. Yes, yeah, so those snacks will get you through today. I can go outside. That was locked? Well, let me lock it again. Because my front... Actually, my front door is not locked at all. You're not... You're not... What's this? You're not gonna lock this door? Are you insane? Well, not insane, but uh, stupid. Looking in the mirror makes me nervous. Am I pretty enough? Would they like me? It's better for me not to put these things in my head. I know I manage. Yeah, then there's a possibility they'll blackmail you and um rape you or something. Or use your sex toy or something. Eh, it's one of those stories you probably hear about. Who leaves the other side open? That is so weird. <laughs> oh, odd, really not weird, but... Also, considering the doors are not even locked, like... What's that? Who's there? Other clothes are taken. Ouch! A key? I need to get my clothes from my backpack. I'm sorry. What? You, you had clothes in here and... They're just... What? What? Where are my clothes? 
Well, since your clothes are gone, at least you got the clothes still in the bathroom, right? 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 I haven't... I, I can't have forgotten them. This can't be happening. <sighs> I'll buy something to wear tomorrow and put this one in the wash. I think I could wear this one for one more night. So you did bring your clothes. What's the objective? Well, I have to avoid... I have to avoid using the key to its rightful place. So, wait, what's the goal now? Do I just get her to sleep? I don't know. I'm just gonna walk around and do useless things. Take out to other people's rooms. Okay, well, I'll go uh, somewhere, everywhere. Maybe I'll find a secret. I don't need to go back down there. So this... I don't need to use the stairs. But you do need to use the stairs, technically. You, you know, you can just walk. Such... Yeah. Behold the character. After being done, for some reason she decides to use this door. Behold stupidity. Alright, well, time for death. That's an old ladder. Tables and tools. He's probably in the bedroom. drives a pickup truck that uh, has a gun rack in the back that uh, usually Did works maybe enough? in a chemical plant or uh, in a regular job somewhere in the city and comes out to Gillies on a Friday and Saturday night, chases the gals with the tight blue jeans on and... Uh, Hello? Someone stuck a nut on the door. Due to heavy rain, we need to isolate the parking garage and print flooding tonight. Everything will be back to normal by morning. Uh, I think people are intrigued by the western wear. And western wear has become the answer to a designer's prayers. Underslung heels, pointed toes, and belts with your name on it are the fashion wear for urban cowboys. Outsiders may be intrigued by it, but Texans just wear it, and they don't have to think twice to tell you why. Because I'm a pure redneck. I was born a Texan, I live a Texan. Are you proud of it? I'm proud of it, ain't the word for it. If anybody cuts me down, I'll kick their tail right here and now. And that's a fact. I like your cowboy hat. You do. Ah, uh, thank you. I, I sort of like your blonde hair, too. You can't call it Texas unless you drink a Lone Star and Jack Sandy if you were born here. Yeah. Of course, not all of these people were born here, but still, they are Texans, urban cowboys. They drink long neck beer, eat chicken fried steak, and of course, they all dance the Cotton Eye Joe. Cotton Eye Joe. While most 
people don't give the Cotton Eye Joe much of a chance for taking over disco, this summer you'll see the disco kid become a rhinestone cowboy. Remember John Travolta? Well, you might not recognize him behind a beard he's grown for a new movie, but Travolta's really? done an about face, and he's starring in a new film appropriately called The Urban Cowboy. It's being made where else but right here at the hangout for the new breed, Gilly. Uh, more or less like a macho thing, thing you know? I mean, if a guy can stay on that thing, then he seems to impress the girls where he's like a musician up on the bandstand getting all the attention. Well, they're getting attention, you know, from from the girls and from everybody else if they can ride this particular animal. And uh, it's used to train some of the rodeo riders, too. I've done it I mean, it's, TV. it's a vicious machine. And this is how the movie thing got started. Oh, midnight Can't drop it. was a champion. Okay. He's the only bronc I couldn't ride. Travolta will have to be as good at riding as he is at dancing to top some of these acts. Maybe he needs to be returned to his rightful place? Okay. If John Travolta does as much, or just a portion. I don't need to take a shower again. So why is the water still in it? It's gonna make country music a universal thing as far as... It's gonna mirror it makes me nervous. If the movie is a smash, Gillies is really gonna become, you know, sort of a landmark to our area here because it's like that 54 club that uh, in New York that John did the disco thing with. Paramount Santa pictures. Cash, Paramount pictures. What? And John Travolta put past on the map. I've been watching. Everybody out here right now. Are you is kidding the me? The same as we've always been. We've always come out here like this. And they'll continue to come out here looking like this, where a kicker can feel right comfortable, and Mickey Gillies' tunes get the whole room hooting and hollering. It may be the set for a movie right now, but for these people, Gillies is a way of life. Every now and then, Mickey Gillies... And then a sound happens. <laughs> Learn to lock your doors. Dang, I must have fallen asleep. I don't need a remote anymore. Look, since I've fallen asleep, or not, must have jammed. Should go in there anyways. Well, he did go in. There. Is it? It's all flooded down there. Is it now? Okay, let's start the main event. Never mind. What? Is that this door? Hello? Now I'm confused. Am I supposed to do something? <laughs> Cause uh... Okay, yeah, that kind of scared me, I guess. I was, I would be, I was expecting the person behind the door. I was expecting that. Protection sponsors. There's only one voice. So why is it voices? What is this? Why is additional models? Just one name. Not just kidding. There better be multiple voices, by the way. Wait, there's not. My arms. I can't move them.
a chest locked. So therefore, I need to find which door locked. Okay, of course it's this one. Robert seemed restless, euphoric, frequently checking his watch as he ran through the valley of uncertainty. After crossing past Vallis, his instinct was to run faster and faster. The more he ran, the more distorted the sound seemed, the more distorted the surroundings appeared, until in the blink of an eye, an obstacle appeared in his path. Only a rabbit scream, rabbit scream echoed that it could be heard by Alice. Soon the lesson she had learned, when a fragile body has to run, it can only bring more obstacles. I'm being chased by the way. I got him. Got him. Shut 
shattered to pieces around her. Her hand had been cut by the first fragment, which is four, followed by a more intense pain for the second fragment, and followed by a more intense pain from the second fragment that fell near the first one.
I see what that's for later. Okay. Oh, yes! I didn't even take the drugs! Scene completed? Tune radio 20 times. Really? Ain't no way. Rewind 6. Ah! Oh. To be continued. Thanks for playing. Did you enjoy it? Feel free to share your feedback. I guess eventually I did. <laughs> Well, I guess... Oh, well, game closed itself. So, you know what that means? Time for the end of the video. Bye, and have a fun time.